Hey guys, it's Brian. Uh, today I wanted to talk about wheelchair center of gravity and how you can adjust it. Uh, just real quick, I want to kind of talk about what it is. The center of gravity of your chair is how far forward or how far back the axle is in relation to the chair. A axle that is farther forward is going to make the chair very tippy as you're rolling. So if you don't want it to be as tippy, a little more safe, you can move it back. And that will give you a much better propulsion of the chair because the weight of the chair is a little farther back. You're a little more over the axle as opposed to, right now you can kind of see my body is a little bit behind the axle. If you get right on top of it or in front of it, you're a lot less likely to tip and that's gonna be a lot safer. The anti-tip bars that come with your chair when you're a brand new user, those are kind of like training wheels. So that's not something that you're gonna have or should have forever. The whole idea of having a wheelchair without anti-tip bars is one of the biggest skills you need to learn, or I believe that you need to learn, is how to jump a curb. Um, I've talked about that in some previous videos, so go back and kind of check those out. I talked about how to practice a wheelie and how to practice jumping a curb. That's going to be extremely helpful as you move on um, because you're going to have obstacles that there's not a ramp always in place. And I'm not talking about jumping a huge curb, but even if you can get over a threshold that's pretty small, um, that's gonna really help. So adjusting your center of gravity farther back is gonna give you more confidence to start practicing jumping those curbs. And uh, right now I just wanna kinda show you how to do that. It's pretty easy and we'll take a look. If you wanna adjust your center of gravity but you're not entirely sure how, just go online. You can pull up the owner's manual pretty easily. Uh, I've got Tylite's website pulled up here and you can go under literature and owner's manual and pretty much this is exactly what the book that you get it's just in PDF form but I wanted to show you uh, in order to adjust the center of gravity it kind of walks you through the tools that you need and just kind of step by step how you're supposed to do it it's a little bit different on the this owner's manual this is for the ZRA series 2 which is the newer version I'm showing you on the ZRA series 1 uh, which you can find that owner's manual but Obviously, I didn't want to uh, go through the effort of trying to find it. <laughs> All right, so in order to make these adjustments, it's pretty easy. You're going to loosen up these two Allen bolts on both sides to loosen up the, uh, the clamp. And what we're doing is we're moving this clamp behind this bolt right here, which is going to shift the whole axle back. Um, in order to do that, you're going to use an Allen wrench. And just real quick, I wanted to talk about these. These are T-handle Allen wrenches. These are awesome. I really suggest that you pick up a set because they make working on the chair so much better. And it, give, it or allows you to get in tight spaces and gives you a little bit more leverage. Um, so we'll go ahead and loosen these up. I'm just gonna kind of break these loose on both sides. And then you can use the other end just to kind of spin them off, which is pretty, pretty nice. Comes off fairly fast. The same thing with this one back here. So I'm going to spin the chair around and do the exact same thing on the other side. So once you get both bolts or both brackets off on both sides, um, you can kind of pull back on this just to kind of get it over that bar. And then we're just going to shift it in front of that bolt right there, kind of push in, lock it down. So one thing I would suggest is if you're adjusting the center of gravity, use a tape measure to measure the spaces from here and just make sure that they're the same on the other side. Because you don't want to have an axle that's twisted. Your chair is not going to roll straight and it actually might kind of tweak the frame a little bit. So you know you might have one caster that's slightly off the ground. So yeah, just measure that if you can. I'm not going to because I'm just going to slide it back against this bolt right here um, and it will be the same on both sides. So just go ahead and replace these brackets. And it's pretty straightforward from here. It's just going to be the exact opposite of what you did to take them off. So one thing I didn't show you was uh, you're also going to have to adjust the wheel locks. Uh, if you're moving the center of gravity backwards or forward, obviously the wheel lock's going to have to move along with it. 
But at this point, I've got the center of gravity slid as far back as it can go. And as I wheel, I just want to show you how much less likely the front end wants to lift up. And I can really get, I mean, a good push. Um, I'm not constantly hopping like this, like I was earlier. And I feel like I can hold this wheelie position very comfortably now that my center of gravity is farther back. It's made the front end of the chair a lot heavier, uh, making it a lot safer. So that's pretty much what I wanted to show you. Um, if you want to practice wheelchair wheelies but you don't feel comfortable, you're afraid you're gonna fall back, uh, a suggestion I would give you is to tie a belt or a strap onto the axle and have somebody, an assistant, stand behind you with the belt. And as you are doing a wheelie, if you start tipping back too far, all they have to do is pull up on the belt and you won't tip backwards. So that's kind of just a tip that I uh, learned when I was in rehab and it kind of gave me the confidence to figure out how to do wheelies. So if you have any questions, let me know. I'll talk to you soon.